Hello everybody, Soda Hunter here, and I got one more video tasting before the day's over with, and uh, as you can see around me, it's night. I am in Deanwood, Georgia right now, and I stopped at this uh, little truck stop, and I found something really cool inside there, but um, that's for later on. For what I'm doing right now, something popular that is fairly new, well, it's it's not new because it's always been at Taco Bell. It is a Taco Bell original Baja Blast. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And it just got released in bottles and cans over the summer. And I guess it's for just the summer. But you can see right there on the bottle, on the can, I mean, Taco Bell original. So, all the time that we went to Taco Bell, got Baja Blast from the fountain. This is what Mountain Dew actually wants it to taste like because they bottled it themselves. You know, they always have uh, little variances in fountain drinks and stuff like that. Some levels of carbonation are too much, some not, the syrup's not enough. You know how that goes. If I can describe the flavor of this, I've had it before obviously. A lot of us have had it before. If I could describe the flavor of this, I don't think I can. I really don't like Mountain Dew as much as most other people do. I prefer a stronger drink. I think uh, Mountain Dew is kind of weak, in my opinion. Um, I like something like uh, Mellow Yellow a little better because it's a lot stronger. It's got more of a kick to it. It always seems like if I open a can of Mountain Dew, I drink half of it and the rest of it's flat. That's always what it seems like to me. I mean, that's just me. But after about half a Mountain Dew, it seems like you're just drinking syrup, which is pretty much all it's, this is anyway. But it's hard to describe the flavor of this. I actually like this. I don't like any other flavors of Mountain Dew. I don't like the Code Red too much. I don't like White Out. I don't like the High Voltage. I really don't like the Live Wire stuff. The, uh, even the Kickstarts, they're okay, but they're, they're weaker than Mountain Dew. I mean, that's, that's the point. The rest of the Mountain Dew stuff is just okay. I mean, I like Diet Dew a little bit. I don't know why I like that better than regular Mountain Dew, but I but I do. Can I say do enough times in this video? Um, do the Baja Blast do. Alright, my rip-off mason jar. I really thought that was going to be bluer than it is because in the plastic bottle... It is blue. I guess that actually does kind of look blue in the video. I'm looking on the screen, but I'm looking at it next to the light. It is green next to the light. So it's the amazing color changing Baja Blast. I see green, you see blue. Okay. That smells a lot like regular Mountain Dew, actually. I wasn't thinking it was going to smell like Mountain Dew. I've had it before, like I said, but haven't really thought about what I was doing. Yeah, it's it's got more of a regular Mountain Dew smell to it. Maybe not as citrusy. The can actually says, if, if, if a can hadn't told me this, I would never have known. It is... It has a blast of natural and artificial tropical lime flavor. When I think Baja, I think Baja 1000 desert racing, dune buggies, off-road trucks, jumping sand dunes. I don't think blue soda or green soda, whatever this is. But it's got that unique taste to it. Let me see. It is so different than regular Mountain Dew. not near as citrusy it's actually sweeter in flavor I guess it has the same amount of sugar as Mountain Dew they're both loaded with sugar they, re they really are I mean this one can has 170 calories and 45 grams 45 grams in this can right here I will probably not be drinking all of this tonight or I will be up all night long and I need to sleep um, how do you describe it? You know what it's like 
it's like birthday punch. That's exactly what it's like, or wedding punch. You know, you go to a wedding reception, a birthday reception, anniversary party, they got this big old bowl of blue punch that nobody really knows exactly what's in it. Somebody dumps a whole bunch of Hawaiian punch blue in it, uh, some ginger ale, some pineapple juice, throw some strawberries and limes and lemons and all that in there, have them just floating around the top, and you get you a spoon and you dip that junk in there, that's, that's what that is right there. That is birthday punch. Mountain Dew Baja birthday punch right there. That's, that's the best way I know to describe it. It is good though. That is my favorite Mountain Dew. That's always been my favorite Mountain Dew. I just tend to not get as much of this because I know how much sugar is in this stuff. I don't get that much Mountain Dew just for that reason. Um, I tend to stick to diet dew if I have that craving or mellow yellow zero or something like that. But that is my favorite Mountain Dew, the Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Limited time only. Check it out. I'm trying to get where the light says at all. I have if you if you hear it, the trucks running, it is hot. I am in Georgia, South Georgia, North Florida. It is hot. I got the air conditioner going. I'm not I'm not leaving these windows rolled up and uh, no air going while I'm doing this. It is hot in here, so the trucks gonna stay running while I do this. I have this light right here is not working. I have one light right there and the light back there. I have a light over here off to the passenger side, but it doesn't it doesn't add anything to it. So I'm gonna be shadowed when I'm doing these nighttime videos like this. But that's a tangent. That's another tangent. So sorry about that. Limited time only. Summer. If you've ever been to Taco Bell and you've had Baja Blast, it tastes a lot like it. I mean, right down to it. So they pretty much got it right uh, as, a, as to what Mountain Dew actually wanted this to taste like when they made a fountain drink out of it. And um, it's good. My favorite one. It's actually one of the stronger ones, in my opinion, as far as the uh, carbonation and the kick you get afterwards goes. Um, I recommend it. If you haven't tried it, well, now you don't have to go to Taco Bell to try it. If you were like me, grew up in this little bitty town, we are getting a Taco Bell right now as we speak. It is 2014. We are just now getting a Taco Bell and a Walmart. Both of them under construction, no lie. Yeah. So, the nearest Taco Bell to me was 30 minutes away, and that was most recently too, like within the last eight years, I believe. So, I didn't get much of uh, Taco Bell when I was growing up. That was a special occasion. But not now. Now, I'm going to be able to get out of the house late at night, go down the road, get a Dorito Taco, and a Baja Blast. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Soda Hunter or Soda underscore Hunter, Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Thank you for watching.